Let's bring in David Bonson, founder and managing partner of the Bonson Group. David, what do you make of some of the comments we're hearing on tariffs? Well, look, I am a free trader, and uh, Vice President Harris happens to be accidentally correct that they are a sales tax on consumers. More literally, they're a tax on American importers, and importers then pass along the effect of that tax to their customers who are American consumers. The only thing I would say is why did Vice President Harris and the Biden administration not get rid of any of the tariffs? I mean, every single one, with no right. exceptions, that President Trump and his administration put on are still there. I'm not pro-tariff. I do not buy the argument they protect workers. But Harris is not the one really qualified here to make that case. Yeah, she's been happy to keep the Trump tariffs more or less totally intact. David, I want to ask you about another Trump policy. He's talking a lot about child tax credits. Listen to what he had to say today with Harris Faulkner. I'm a single mom to two kids here, and just in three and a half years, my child tax credit has decreased by 80 percent. Last year, I had broken my neck, and I tried applying for any kind of assistance and was denied because I did not make less than $700 a month. What kind of realistic changes that do you think you can provide single parents, married parents, any kind of parent to just simply afford children in today's world with the way things are? I gave you the largest tax cuts in the history of our country, okay? Larger than the Reagan cuts, larger. I understand exactly what you're saying. We're going to readjust things so that it's fair to everybody, because it's really not fair to everybody. But we have a lot, and we're, gonna, we're going up higher, but we're also going to readjust, because you have to make some readjustments. It's unfair to some people, and we're not going to have that. And David, he, he said that it was his daughter who really got him on the idea of supporting child tax credits. You know, this is a huge affordability issue, but I wonder if you think that that kind of policy is the right policy to help families. Well, I think what is being missed, Brian, is the difference in this uh, additional child tax credit was that it was allowed to be used for people who paid no taxes at all. Mm. So it's not a tax credit. It becomes a transfer payment. People getting a tax credit that's larger than the amount of tax they owe, therefore, they're getting money directly from somebody else in the American system. That's um, renamed welfare. And we may want a, a certain safety net like that, but it isn't tax policy. It's, chi it's a safety net policy. Mm. And I'm of the opinion that support for needy single mothers is better done in the private sector, churches, nonprofit, charity. I'm all for helping those that are destitute with children. I'm more for it than people would even believe. I don't think the federal government's very good at doing it, and manipulating tax policy is an inefficient way to do it, and it leads to manipulation. David, the Cato Institute issued a new study, and Tim Walls, in this study, he ranks dead last when it comes to fiscal yep. responsibility. And I think to myself, Kamala Harris had many choices of who she could choose, yet she chose Tim Walls for whatever reasons that she did. But I think this reflects on her in her decision-making. When you are president and vice president, and that's what they are saying they want to be. You need to have some fiscal responsibility. This isn't a joke here. Well, it certainly is not. And that need becomes more intense by the day. Um, I, I'm fascinated by this study because if you came in last place in fiscal responsibility in a country that involves California, then you uh, really did something. So um, T Tim Walls is not someone who cares about fiscal responsibility. What, what he, he views government, again, in a nanny state kind of role. And the nanny state is very expensive. And this is why, to Brian's point earlier, I'm against conservatives wanting to embrace the role of a paternalistic state. Mm. It isn't affordable, the fiscal responsibility thing you're asking me about, but it's also the wrong type of country that we want to have. And that's why Tim Walls is such a big spender, because he has too big of a vision for the government. Mm. David Bonson, we really appreciate you coming on and sharing your thoughts with us as always. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.